Let me take you back to 1907, to a small town in Pennsylvania, where a little girl named Rachel Carson wandered the woods and riverbanks, collecting seashells and listening to birdsong. From the very start, Rachel was in love with nature. She was curious about every plant, every animal, every mysterious ripple in the stream. And even though in those days girls were rarely encouraged to become scientists, Rachel wasn't one to take no for an answer. She studied biology in college, worked late into the night on her research, and earned her master's in zoology from Johns Hopkins. But she wasn't just a scientist. She was a writer at heart. Somehow, she found a way to blend those two passions and changed the world forever. In the 1930s, Rachel started working for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, writing reports that explained the wonders of the natural world. But soon, her writing took on a life of its own. Her first best-selling book, The Sea Around Us, turned the ocean's mysteries into poetry, inviting everyone, not just scientists, to fall in love with the sea. It was a huge hit, but Rachel knew there was more work to do. By the late 1950s, stories started to surface. Birds were dying in droves, bees were vanishing, fish were floating lifeless in rivers. All of it pointed back to a single culprit, a pesticide called DDT, sprayed everywhere in the name of progress. Rachel listened, and then she started investigating. For four years, she gathered stories, talked with scientists and farmers, and connected the dots. DDT didn't just kill bugs, it seeped into soil, rivers, and the food chain. It poisoned birds, wildlife, and even humans. And then, in 1962, she published Silent Spring. Imagine this, a spring morning with no birds singing, no insects buzzing, just silence. That's the haunting question her book posed. The reaction? Explosive. Chemical companies were furious, they called her an alarmist, tried to discredit her work, and attacked her character. But Rachel stood firm, letting the science, and her steady gentle voice, speak for itself. Her courage changed everything. The public listened, the government listened. In 1972, just a decade after Silent Spring, the United States banned DDT. The Environmental Protection Agency was born. People everywhere started to understand that we're not separate from nature. Harming it means harming ourselves. The modern environmental movement began, and it all started with Rachel's words. She didn't get to see the full impact. Rachel Carson died of breast cancer in 1964, just two years after her book was published. But her legacy lives on, in every environmental law, every wildlife sanctuary, every young activist who refuses to stay silent. Today, schools, nature centers, and even a U.S. postage stamp honor her. She's remembered